in the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights. Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, LeChuck. Ah, LeChuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far, and... You guys bucking for a tip? Well, we figured since... Well, you figured wrong. LeChuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. Ick. I hate snakes. Mr. Brush, is that you? Are you alright? It was horrible. They abducted me in my office, brought me here in a duffel bag, interrogated me. Then they... they... What? What? They took away my monocle for a while. I see. The map, Wally. What about the map? Oh, LeChuck's got it, but who cares? Who cares? Yes, I memorized the whole thing before he took it. It's on an island called Dinky, not too far from here. After you bust me out of here, we could steal a boat and go there. Okay, stand back. I'm gonna bust down the door. What are you, nuts? Go get the key. He probably keeps it in his office down the hall. Could you please stop that annoying swinging? Sorry. I have something to confess about your monocle. Dread stole it. I knew it. He's always envied my intellectual look. I'm gonna go get that key. Okie dokie. It's too soggy. That is one huge door. Nice. Guy Brush Threepwood. You have finally been caught. I have searched every island. Sailed every Every sea. And now, 
You are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? Largo! Yes, sir, Lechuk, sir! Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir! <laughs> you be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me! Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm... It is what is about to happen to you! Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. <laughs> uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um, well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> Any questions? Isn't it dangerous to leave a pit of acid uncovered? Safety is not my concern in this situation. Gee, I had a million questions a second ago. Think fast! Your time is almost up! If this is four, and this is two, what's this? I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. He didn't say wh what he was going to do to me. Uh, an Ottoman comes to mind. This stuff makes my spit thick. Pooey! Pooey! Hey! Watch it with a spit! on in here? Largo, relight the candle. <sighs> Guybrush has escaped. Find him. Ha! I bet LeChuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. There's some stuff in here. I think that these are matches. And this thing feels like a bomb. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! <laughs> 